to the program where this episode, we're taking a look at what should be a fun one. One from the Streetside Brewing Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio, just south on I-75 from where I'm located. Uh, this here is their That's a Spicy Meatball, an Italian-style Pilsner. So look at the fun artwork there. Reminds you of the old Chef Boyardee stuff. Uh, you got the spaghetti with giant meatball on it. You got the street side logo with the red and green uh, color to it this time. It says on the can, this is a can of beer, not spaghetti. It's 4.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, do not know the IBU. That is some of the... You know, that's pretty fun artwork right there. Pretty cool artwork. Uh, this is about two months old at the time of this recording. And it says, that's a spicy meatball, Italian-style Pilsner. That's a spicy meatball is a further iteration of our exploration of the lager world. This Pilsner hopped aggressively with Tetanin, Saphir, and Saz hops, as the hops, is the perfect aperitif for your next family meal. That's a spicy meatball has subtle notes of noble hops that pair perfectly with afternoons by the lake while enjoying a delightful charcuterie board or a night in your dorm in your dorm room eating spaghetti out of the can we're not judging you so uh definitely pretty cool right there a little right up there uh sounds like a fun one four and a half percent alcohol by volume a Pilsner. You know what? I like a good lager from time to time. This is a lower ABV, so it uh, should be kind of a crusher one. And uh, like I said, a couple months old. Let's see. Yeah, just uh, just over two months old right now is what this can is. So at the time of this recording, I don't know when the video is going to actually release. But uh, we're going to get a pour on this thing and uh, see what it's all about. So while I'm doing this, uh, hit the notification bell, um, you know, become a subscriber, especially if you like what you see here, become a subscriber, uh, check out my other content, check me out on social media, there's information in the uh, description, check all that fun stuff out, super clear, uh, looks well carbonated, lots and lots of uh, bubbles just popping away uh, in the head on this, and it's just a white, just a, a snow perfectly white head so clear i mean that is super clear carbonation's dying out uh, or sorry the head's dying out quickly carbonation's cleaning up there's lots of carbonation there being released on the side but it's starting to clear up pretty good actually so we'll get a little bit more in there that, this is just so clear it's crazy just looks like i guess um one of those American adjunct light loggers. Uh, I don't know, like a Michelob Ultra, you know, super pale and clear like that. So just super light, clear. Yeah, it's got a little bit of that citrusy lemongrass aroma. Some floralness, um, your know, fruitiness to it. Uh, exactly what I thought it was going to smell like. So get a drink on this thing and see what it's all about. Okay. So you do get that uh, lemon grassiness, um, that floralness that's there. Well carbonation, uh, well carbonated, lots of carbonation, just, um, you know, the prickliness on the tongue. Super thin. Almost uh, just uh, like a watery, you know, thin wateriness to it. If I'm in the mood uh, for a light lager, light Pilsner style beer, um, I could definitely, uh, down this, um, got a little bit of an aftertaste. As I'm sitting here talking, I kind of inhale it. Kind of a, um, 
just like a weedy floral aftertaste. Overall, uh, pretty solid. Um, scoring this, I'm not really going to score. I'm just say, would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend you going out there and picking this up. It's a very good beer. Um, no real complaints or anything about it. Um, you know, if you like lagers, Pilsner style beers, uh, this would definitely be something to, uh, to pick up and try out. Um, fun can art. It's going to look pretty good on the wall up here. Um, you know, if you're in the Cincinnati area, uh, maybe Northern Kentucky, anywhere where there would be street side offerings, I would highly encourage you picking up something from Street Side Brewing. Fantastic uh, brewery down there. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching.